Hello, my name is Cameron Hayeswood, or Iceman V05. Today I'm going to be demonstrating a project that I've been making in VBA Excel for my college program. And it is a three-axis robot arm position calculator, as you can see right here. So, what we've got here is, uh, not this, oopsie, I'm already messing up. The, we've got the position table up here. You will be entering in your X, Y, and Z coordinates here, and my program will take those and calculate the arm length, rotation angle, and the lift angle. The equations for said um, functions are right up down here. So let's just go ahead. As you can see in the bottom right, I have something else there. Let's select it real quick. Uh, let's do this. 63.66. This is a random number generator I made uh, last year because I was bored. Uh, 32.49. And let's do this right here. No. All right, I'm going to do that up. Uh, 125. Uh, whoopsie. 132.96. All right, and we can save that position. So the the macro will, or sorry, the functions update as you change the values. And yeah, so each of these buttons here are linked to a macro. This is the save position macro, which s s takes everything from the table here and I'll put it on, on the, uh, on this last save position table I have right here. Um, clear the table will do it, do exactly what it says. So, you know, clear that. So uh, let me spam this a whole bunch of times. Uh, um, oopsie. Uh, oops, I do 45.6, save that. All right, so say we have a whole bunch of positions. I want to find a certain position. Let's just do, uh, I don't know, 15. So it'll set my cursor to that active position. And yeah, so that's generally what the uh, my uh, program does. And here's just a brief view of what my code looks like. So this is the save position macro up here. A lot of it is just formatting. This right here is the clear table macro, which, you know, just clears the table. This is the find position macro, which gives you an input box to uh, put the number of the position you want to find, and it'll go down to the, the position accordingly. The arm length function, the rotation angle function, and this is the lift angle function. And I think that's just about it. So thank you for watching. I will have a longer and more in-depth video of this coming out. I have to have this in a certain length of time. So anyways, thank you for watching.